Hello, and welcome to this Getting Started with ChemKin Pro video. Let's take a look at the user interface now that we have ChemKin Pro installed. I have ChemKin Pro opened here, and what you'll see is the Models tab. This shows all of the different model types within ChemKin Pro. These range from 0D reactors to 1D reactors, flame simulators, and others that are more targeted at the microelectronics industry, such as the CVD reactors. We have our open area here. This is where we will create our diagrams. Along the top, we have our menu bar where we can do things such as save and archive projects. We can edit the preferences, profiles. We can open the post processor. Under utility, we can archive chemistry sets, unarchive chemistry sets. And we also have a help menu where we can go to view the theory manual or the tutorials manual. We also have an open projects tab here in ChemKin Pro. Once we've created a new project and we've added a reactor model to our diagram, this will be populated. So let's create a new project. I can give it any name. Let's say ignition delay. If you want to set up an ignition delay calculation. And that will bring us to the models panel and we have the diagram view now to add a reactor to the diagram view we can simply left click and it will add it to the diagram view or we can left click hold down the left mouse button drag and add the model so we only want one batch reactor in this case once we're once we have completed our reactor diagram we can update the project and now we're ready to start setting up our simulation where we'll set up the chemistry, the conditions for our reactor, and run our calculations and post-process the results. Thanks for viewing this Getting Started with ChemKin Pro video. Please check our website for other videos that may be of interest to you on Getting Started with ChemKin Pro.